It's really exciting. Today we're going to be performing the world premiere of Claire McHugh's piece, The Giant Folk and the Wee Folk, and it's all based on the myths and legends of Northern Ireland. Each piece is, is really quite different. Number one, it's all about the fairy forts. And then we go on to Sleeve Gullion, which is all about the sleeping giant. And then the third one is about a Scottish giant and the Irish giant, Finn McCool and Ben and Donner. The commission is really exciting for us because anything new is always a fantastic thing. What the Arts Council has done, it's allowed us to ask someone like Claire McHugh, who's an incredibly accomplished composer, to create a work for our junior choir, especially for them. As part of the commission, I was asked to base the songs around some of the legends, the landscapes, the folklore to do with Northern Ireland. I wanted the songs to feel authentic and because I know it would mean something to the people, to the singers, to the audience, hopefully. Um, but what's been really nice this week is to be over and working with the choir as well. You're able to see the piece like emerge from start to finish. Just they've done so well. They've worked so hard and they've brought so much energy to it. I'm really looking forward to the performance. It's been a great experience. The kids have been great fun. I love what Clara has done with it, the themes she's focused on, and in particular the Sleeve Gullion piece. I can relate to that. I come from South Armagh, and I remember my own days as a young musician. It was the kind of the group trips and the performances like this that really made me enjoy music uh, and maybe stick at it. So I'm just delighted to be involved. Through national lottery funding, the Arts Council is delighted to support the National Youth Choir. Young people are nurtured here in many ways, musically, socially, creatively and personally, and they grow through the family of choirs at the National Youth Choir. Covid was particularly devastating for singing and choral singing in particular, and so I'm delighted to see this organisation thriving once again. It's wonderful to have the children relate to the words they're singing, and they've really connected with it. Arts Council of Northern Ireland have been absolutely wonderful in supporting us in what we do and so I'd like to thank them hugely for that.